so hello everyone uh, once again to my youtube channel simulation engineer as uh, you can see that uh, today's video topic um, it will be an extension of my previous video which was about how to use latex document uh, or latex in visual studio code if you remember last time i have showed you how you can uh, compile your pdf uh, latex document with the help of miktex installation and uh, you don't need to um, install any extra libraries like latex mk or perl script and uh, we were really able to successfully run the code uh, in the meantime i have received uh, lots of uh, questions and queries and requests from uh, my youtube uh, channel followers um, and uh, the guys are really asking me to if i can do really uh, a thorough video on how you can compile the latex document in visual studio co code so i will today show you uh, briefly how we can do that without any errors so normally if you remember in the first video uh, even after compiling that you get some warnings or errors um, uh, so i will show you how you can really avoid this this time and uh, how you can even use this uh, bibliography so if you have references in your document uh, so i'll be using uh, a kind of a uh, simple demonstration how you can compile for example a book or an article uh, with the help of visual studio code and using this uh, latex styles okay so before we really start with the demo um, as i have mentioned in the last video so the prerequisites are you need to have visual studio code available and then you need to install this latex uh, workshop from the marketplace this is the link i will also put it in the description section and then uh, make sure that you have uh, the miktex uh, package which is uh, or the software which is installed in your um, in your operating system it doesn't matter whichever operating system you use if you are working with linux or windows or mac make sure you have miktex installed and um, i have mentioned already that uh, we will not be require requiring or uh, we don't need any installation of perl of latex mk so i'll be using the same recipes as uh, available uh, with the help of this latex workshop yeah and then uh, these are the ways how you can build your latex code either you will go by command palette i will show you once again or you can also sh go through the latex workshop and uh, the recipes command and uh, finally you can view it within the uh, visual studio code or you can view it in a browser okay and uh, let's start with the demo and let's uh, see how we can fully compile uh, the latex document using visual studio code okay so i have my document uh, already open in visual studio code if you guys remember this is the same document which i have used last time to demonstrate how to use latex uh, in visual studio code so i just commented it out because um, today's uh, theme or topic will be an extension of this uh, from last one so i have chosen um, a document class which is of a paper size of a4 i'm using a font size of 10 and i wanted to use an article format so i would like to compile an article uh, which will include references uh, table of contents and be using some sections or two chapters so if i go through very slowly uh, you can see um, it is nothing special just a latex file which is open in uh, visual studio code and then you will add your uh, title so it says it is the bibliographic management and uh, then you will use this some standard uh, notation format which is uh, this here and uh, as you know that normally you begin your document in latex uh, with the with the begin command and uh, this is uh, in parenthesis you will write document then we can say we will we wanted to make a title table of contents and then uh, some 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 skippings if it is required and then i have uh, two sections so section 1 is the first section which is named chapter 1 and chapter 2 is called second section and uh, i have uh, added some, some let's say some random text for example this document is an example of bib text so i am i am using some notations for italic bolds so the purpose of uh, just to show you or just to demonstrate here is so that uh, you can see how uh, 
all these commands and all these options really work without any problem in Visual Studio Code. And then here I am using the references. So for example, uh, site uh, Einstein and, and then you have site like uh, the website and then Latex Companion and site for example Dummy. And uh, then I, I just added a skip and I'm going to the second chapter and then I am using some, some enumeration like some, some bullets or numbering. And then in the end, uh, I, I have uh, already um, made a sample file for my bibliography. As you know, whenever you are compiling a document which includes some references or if it's a research paper or if it's a book or it's some article, uh, if you have references available, you will uh, explicitly put uh, all these um, references in a separate file. So this file, which is called sample file in my case, uh, and uh, you can also see how it really looks like. So I'm uh, I'm using um, this book format. So uh, always make sure whatever format you are using for your references, then you stick to the uh, all the rules or the required uh, uh, format conventions. Yeah, otherwise um, the LaTeX compiler will complain, and then you will get some warnings, or most probably you will be getting some errors. So you can see I'm using all the references with this book format and it has some specific format that you start with the author, title, publisher and the year. So it is the same. So I try to follow this one. And uh, just at the start, I'm using this uh, reference label for my citations. For example, if it is dummy or it is latex companion. So latex companion, for example, I have used it here. So that is the... Uh, Whenever I'm using the citation uh, reference, so it will call this latex companion and while compiling, it will see, okay, this is the latex companion and it will give me the this uh, detail of complete the, of this reference used in the document. Okay, uh, this is really it. Once you are happy with that and um, for the bibliographic style, I'm using IEEE TR, which is quite, an, quite famous. Uh, but uh, there are lots of uh, other styles available. So if you want, you can even uh, have a look in the documentation of LaTeX. Uh, you, if you wanted to use some other bibliographic style. But for today, just for the demonstration purposes, I think this is uh, more than satisfactory. So once you are happy with this one, then you go on and compile your code. Either you can start it from this uh, LaTeX project menu. So you can start with your recipe uh, PDF LaTeX or you simply press Control plus Shift plus P on your keyboard and you say, okay, uh, I would like to compile my LaTeX document. Once you click there and you will get the same menu. You see, it is the same as you can also get it from here. So once I will click this one and uh, once my uh, LaTeX file is compiled fully and you can see it is now compiling. Once it is fully compiled, then I will show you. So, so we can see that it has been compiled uh, successfully and there are no errors. Yeah, If you remember last time, uh, it is always complaining. So there are no errors. So if you go here, you can say, okay, I wanted to view this uh, uh, LaTeX file or this LaTeX PDF file. So it will open uh, a new tab and uh, just um, show you how um, the complete our compiled document looks like. So if you remember, I've, I've added a title, Bibliography Management Bib Text, and I've said, okay, give me this, um, the author. So author is like uh, Visual Studio Code in that case, right? This is here. So, and then you have the title and you will use an, uh, some standard command, like some internal commands, and you will already automatically print out the dates. Uh, and uh, then, I asked, okay, you make the title, so the title is already given, then you will give me the table of contents, so this is the table of contents, so you have contents, then we, it, it includes references and two chapters, first section, second section, and then we have our references. And um, another important thing to, to note down here, for example, is that if we just uh, make it a little bit bigger, so we have uh, the references, uh, which was earlier a problem, initially when you are using LaTeX with the Visual Studio Code that you are always getting warnings or errors and um, the LaTeX was not compiling properly but uh, you can see here there is no errors, no warnings without any error and it's been successfully compiled with complete bibliography 
and all these references are uh, referenced properly within our document and the chapter numbers are also coming pretty pretty nicely here so uh, i think uh, with this uh, one can also say that um, now um, if you are uh, really using uh, in your daily practice uh, Visual Studio Code, for example, I'm using a lot of Visual Studio Code. So it's always really a great practice to have all the things in just in one compiler. So it is really kind of a luxury to uh, use now Visual Studio Code and to compile to Lattice documents. And on the fly, you can also see a uh, parallel on just uh, on the side how it's really looks like if the document is uh, really successfully compiled. Uh, you just uh, need to compile it once and then uh, you don't need to reopen so you can simply see it on the tab um, how it really looks uh, if there are some errors you can also uh, try to get rid of these errors but um, as I mentioned if you really uh, follow uh, the proper uh, conventions uh, for LaTeX and uh, if you have uh, all the tools set up and installed properly then hopefully you will not be getting any errors and um, i think i was uh, or i am now able to demonstrate uh, properly that how you can compile your latex document in uh, visual studio code successfully and uh, yeah i think that's about it from today's uh, video session and uh, as always uh, don't forget to like this video share this video and also don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done it until now and uh, thanks a lot for your support uh, keep supporting me and uh, uh, i would say um, take care and have a nice day and uh, i will see you guys uh, with a new topic in another new video so take care bye bye